Good morning and welcome to another episode of Let's Go Flying. Today we're doing things slightly differently. Anna and I are heading to Abbots Bromley, but today's video is more about the destination than it is the journey. So I've got one camera up inside the aircraft which we're going to do a bit of a time lapse, so enjoy in just a moment. Uh, and uh, also we're going to do some filming on the ground and show you uh, what there is to do uh, at this airfield as well. Um, the reason we're doing it this way is because this airfield is one that we really enjoy to go to. Uh, it's called Abbots Bromley. Um, I'll uh, pop some more information uh, about that further on in the video. Uh, but, uh, but basically, yeah, we're heading down there. We're going to park the plane up and we're going to go and walk it's about 10-15 minutes from the airfield uh, to go to this little cute little farm shop where they've got a courtyard, a cafe and they do these beautiful wood fired pizzas. So join us on the journey, uh, do let us know in the comments what you think of this format because it's totally different. I haven't actually filmed anything quite like this one before so uh, you might love it, you might hate it but it'd be interesting to get some feedback. So any one thing left to do? Let's go flying!
Welcome to Abbott's Bromley. It's a gorgeous little spot. I think that's uh, like the instructor area and clubhouse and whatnot in there. Which uh, doesn't seem open. Abbott's Bromley Airfield is located 15 nautical miles southeast of Stoke on Trent. It has a 600 meter runway with orientations of 0422. The radio frequency is SafetyCom 135 at decimal 480 and all circuits are to the west, 04 being left hand and 22 right hand. They're pleased to have visitors here but please do PPR. There's a toilet on site and as I mentioned previously, the landing fee is a donation to the local air ambulance. The airfield has a lovely vibe about it and its location to both the local village and the farm shop is perfect if you want to stretch your legs and incorporate a nice walk through the countryside with your flight there. So one of the great things to do here is uh, walk down the road for about 10, 10 minutes or so um, and go and get a pizza. So that's what we're going to do. So what you do, you come out this gate here so past this building, Utah Farm Office. Um, oh, well that's posh. They must have thought I was a vehicle. And then you follow this lane down to the end uh, and then do a left. Right. Once you've come out of this driveway, um, you need to take a left and then follow this lane, this cute little lane, all the way to the end. Um, do be careful though, uh, because there is traffic going up and down here. Um, so, you know, there is a tendency to want to walk in the middle of the road, a bit like we're doing now. Stop looking, listen. Stop looking, listen, exactly, Anna. <laughs> um, so uh, just keep your ears open for anything coming and then just try and, you know, make some room if you can. Um, but it's a lovely day, lovely little walk as well down here. Um, I've done this one a few times recently actually. Uh, it's a good place to take people uh, if they want to land away but don't necessarily want to go too far. Well for us anyway because it's about a 25 minute flight, it's not long at all. Um, <laughs> no it's not 25 minutes. It's, it's, about, it's about 10, 10 maybe with your little legs kind of 15 a push but not built for speed are you banana no i'm not at the end of that road you take a right and then after about 300 yards you'll see a little sign poking out I'll trust me to come when it's closed. 12 till 3. 11, oh no! The High Ash Country stores are home to several local businesses with a fabulous range of products. Cobwebs is the coffee shop here which serves fantastic food, coffee and freshly baked cakes as well as having a wood-fired pizza oven that fires out some blooming good pizza. I highly recommend this place for a visit if you do fly into Abbots Bromley. It's definitely worth the walk, but don't do what we did and do try and come when everywhere is actually open. Opening hours according to their Facebook page are Wednesday to Monday 10 till 4 and closed on Tuesdays. However, I would definitely check this before flying in. I hope you enjoyed this slightly different episode of Let's Go Flying. Please do like and subscribe if you did enjoy it and I will see you on the next episode. Take care folks.